so we are discussing work. about the work process administration right so in the work process administration so we have discussed about the dialogue dialogue update and queue background the four work process related transaction codes the usage of the each and every work process we discussed each and every work process information we discussed here today let's start discussing about the so how to how to uninstall the how to uninstall the systems systems means our sap systems how to install the systems and how to add the additional application server how to add the additional app servers here why because the next work process is the message server that there is a dependency we need the one one additional app servers are required for the this one we required the one additional application server is required to perform the message server related details and everything here for that reason let's start discussing about the how to install uninstall the additional those things we'll discuss it on so to perform the uninstallation activity we only require the swpm tool is required swpm the tool is required to perform the uninstallation of the sap systems here uninstallation of the sap system we require the swpm tool is required here let's go to the server where you have the system then don't do the uninstallation of the nw1 system where we all are logging and working on that one we can do the remaining system uninstallation here here lot of systems are there here so remaining five or four we can uninstall it here we can keep the one more system we can uninstall it here so for this one you can go to the sap inst in the swpm tool swpm tool we can go to the sap inst here so let me end this process why because someone already opened this process so i have ended this one here right so let me go to the our softwares okay only swpm you don't require all the softwares here only swpm is required here you go to the here there is a folder this is the log folder here installation log folder will be located here that is also i deleted so it's clean now so now let's go to the sap softwares here then swpm tool here then just double click it out then it will be installed now then go to advanced then sap training one so i will show you uh, one system how to do the uninstallation so you can do the remaining systems except nw1 so same installation only but here thing is we need to go for the so you need to go for the generic options okay last generic option any sap software you want to do the uninstallation go to the generic option go to the uninstall uninstall the single system or entire system one application server or multiple application server just click on this button here uninstall means it's deleting the system so uh, un uninstalling the additional application server it's not like that simply deleting right click and delete it so there is a procedure for uninstallation as well so installation also there is a big procedure uninstallation also there is a same procedure we need to perform it for uninstallation also here
So here, what it will say before do the uninstallation, stop the SAP application. Okay. So stop the SAP app servers or SAP system. Anything you need to stop it while system is running. We cannot do the uninstallation activity. So uh, then after that, it will check the what are the installed SAP systems here. What are the systems are installed? It will cross check all those things here. In the host, what are the uninstallation installations are there? It will check. Like, are there any pre steps, sir? We need to do inside the uh, system before uninstalling. Uninstalling, nothing, just only SWPM tool stopping the system. For building the house, we need to do the all the pre steps and all those things like pre step, pre space is available or not. So, then, so we need to check the memory and everything for uninstallation. So, we are collapsing everything, right? For deleting, nothing is required, just only SWPM tool. Then, so we need the browser to run the tool so then we can stop the sap application so then we can delete it here we can delete it here right so if your multiple systems are there it will show the multiple systems here so now in the screen it will tell you which system you want to unselect like is it the nd3 nsd nw1 what is that what is one suppose let's take the sps okay let's take the sps system here just select the SPS, click on the next button here. So you want to uninstall the all the instances. Suppose like I don't suppose we have the two application servers are there for one SAD. You want to install uninstall only one thing, then you can just select the only whatever you want to uninstall. You can select it. I want entire SAD. How many are there from this host? All will be uninstalled. Then select it. Click on the OK button. So you want to remove the database parts, you want to delete the data from the database level. So uncheck it out, it's not required. Why? Because if you select it, it will take very longer time. Uncheck it out. So manually also we can delete from the data from the database level, that's fine. So, but uncheck it out that button. Right, only simple parameters. So select the system, select the instances, just click it out. Click on the next button. That's it. Now the action is started now. The action is started now. So now you see everything will be stopping the SPS system. SPS is there here, right? So this will be deleted now. This will be deleted here. So all deleted means, so it, it creates the some folders, files at operating system level, all those things here, all will be deleted now. All the things will be deleted in the system now here. So we go to the here. So yes, sir. SAP, then uh, SPS. Here the folder is there. Entire this data will be deleted from these file systems here. It will be deleted. So all will be deleted now here in the system. So here removing, 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 removing. Everything will get removed. So meanwhile, we can also remove it. Everything from SPS here. This is the one, right? What we can do, we can delete the some data. We can also delete it folders. Instead of as WPM also will delete the same, but if you delete it, it will finish very quickly. As WPM also will do the same work. See, removing the everything from the services, everything, remove the directories, profiles, everything will be deleted, everything. So 
removing the instance directories for the D D sixty six. Same whatever I am doing with the uh, FWPM tool also is doing the same. So I am deleting. So FWPM tool also will get deleting now. Or if you stop it, as WPM will delete it. So now simultaneously, both the process. One is the tool is deleting once, and you are also deleting. Hi, sir. Hmm. Hi. Sir. Hi. Uh, while install an installation, sir, we need to delete the those files in the voice level also. Need to you no need to do anything. Tool will delete everything. Okay. Actually, I am deleting through speed up the process. Some also deleting. If you delete it, some will take care of the next work, right? So that's the reason. So uh, I am I am also doing it parallelly. Some is okay. doing. I am also doing. Actually, normally not required. Some tool will take care of the process. Delete. Okay, now see some will delete the one by one. I am also deleting. It will be quick actually. Everything will be deleted actually. This folders and files all will be deleted by the sum tool itself only. Entire everything will be deleted. It will be cleaned up. It will clean up. It will perform the cleanup and everything here. Here we thought uh, I am deleting some also deleted. That's why I could not find the this item here. Skip, skip. Oh, this is all deleted by the sum total. Hmm, it's deleted all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it's deleted profiles. Now it's deleting the yes, yes, deleted profiles. It is deleting now services done. So the uninstallation, uh, normally it will not take more than 30, 30 minutes. Small systems, right? 30 minutes. So very larger system also, only directories, folders, it will be deleted. So it will not take more than 30 to 40 minutes. It's done actually. And the person is completed. Okay, it's completed. You see, it's completed. So all got deleted from the system here, right? There is no folder, SPS folder here. All got deleted. So this is hundred percent completed, right? So which means so uninstallation got deleted. So we can clean up. So normally, I think ten minutes back. I think we started. Yes. So ten minutes for uninstallation, right? So now at the same time now, sorry, it's there, right? Just we can just close and open again. System will gone. System will gone now here. So now, so let's talk about the adding the additional application server, adding the addition of the new application server here. How to add the new application server? Suppose like there is a load is happening in the server. So we have only for NW1, we have only one application server, but this is the load, load is happening in the server. We want to do the 
we want to add the additional application server. Additional application server means you will get the dispatcher, ICM, IGS, dialog work process, background, other than that message server, in case server, remaining all get. So you have the additional. So it will handle it here, right? So then what you can do here, we can go to the service, same as WPM tool. This is also same. Add addition of the additional application server also. It's the same procedure here. So before that, as a best practice, what I will do, I will check the, are there any open SAP INST process? Nothing is there here. So then in that case, I will go to the here. So go to the folders. SAP software, everything SAP software installation or uninstallation or adding the new app servers. So that is also with the SWPM tool only. So you can do the remaining things. You can uninstall it. Okay. Now I am adding the new app server. Database is only one. KSCS is only one. Just to addition of the new app servers here new app servers you are doing Okay, so then go to the, so what is the product you are going to add the next to, so suppose like NetWeaver 7.5, here SQL Server, so installation same, so you are not going to installation app application server above, right, you are not going your standard application, it's installation, it's a installation procedure. And there is a option here, is it here? So this is the uninstallation. Uninstall. Okay, this is the uninstall here itself only. Go to the Netweaver 7.5. Then SQL Server. Installations. Yes, this is the option additional SAP system instances, new additional application server instances here, okay? Under the installation only, we have the option. Just scroll down, you will get this option here, additional application server installation here. It will not ask SID, why? Because SID is the same, only it's, it's adding additional new screen, new room is getting added. So home uh, is one. Will they exist on the same server or different servers? It's the same server only we are doing here. That is our way, how we want to do. If you want to in different OS, different OS or with the same, same also we can do that one. So if two are there, what will happen? If one is down, second will hand, handle it. If the other one is down, was well, part of the OS patching or anything, other others can take care of that one. This is the presentation layer. This is the application layer. This is the database layer here. This is the ASCS instance. This is the primary application server where you are doing the first installation. So this is the GUI. You are here. We are here. So then this is the ASCS install instances. This is the PaaS primary application server. So normally this is the database, right? So normally the flow like here, presentation to here. So this will connect it. You are directly connecting from here to here. You are connecting here. That is fine. This is the SAP. This is the DB here. SAP inside of the SAP. The first you will get the ASCS instance and primary application server instance. You will get it out here. So typical. So you will get all those things here. So now what you are doing then this one here, the dispatcher. Some of the work process are available, which will handle the load. That's fine. But tomorrow there is a load, your business is getting increased, there is a load. Then team decided instead of adding instead of adjusting the existing one, so team decided to install the one more additional application server. One more additional application server. 
one more additional application server. Team asked us to install it here. In that case, this application server will connect to the here. This will connect to the here. This will connect to the here, right? So that this will connect to the. So then in this case, what will happen? If you have the more application servers are there, this is not the correct route to connect it here. Via message server, you need to connect it. So that's why message server will distribute the load to the among the application servers. Message server will distribute the load to the among the application server. It will check which application server has the less load. Then your request will be distributed to the that application server, that application server here. So this is the way message server will perform the load balancing activities. Message server will perform the load balancing activities. Okay. Message server will perform the load balancing activities here. So these are called the additional application server. Now we are installing this box here. This app server we are installing. So if you want, you can install the more, but unnecessarily, why unnecessarily space and time waste? We don't have that much of load. But to test the load balancing functionalities, we are installing the additional one application server that is enough. But same as ID only, only new application server is getting added. New application server is getting added to the here. So that's what we are doing now here. So oh, what is the profile directory? So additional to NW1, NW1 to we are adding the new one, same profile, same, it will use the same path, same SID, same database. So just only SAP, one more app server is getting added, which means in one application server, we have the dispatcher, so dialog, update. So all those things, right? Same we will get from here as well. Same we will get one more. Here two are there. Now, after some time, you will get the one more, one more app server you will get. One more app server you will get here. One, two is there, three will come. The two will handle the load. The password, so the common password. Sir. Yes. How will we get to know like we need to install one more application? So it depends upon the load. In the current environment, the production is running. Yeah, the more users system is slow and uh, some users are unable to log in. More users are logging and uh, only we have the, some work process unable to handle it. So then in that case, system is getting overloaded, which means one system is getting overloaded. In this case, what you can do if you install the one more application server then that application server will take the 50 percent of the load right then both will handle the same load so that uh, how can we know means depends depends upon the issues business so once we first doing the installation time you don't know but after the some days your business is running you are also not expected that much of business so then it's overloading then that time so you may have to do that one so normal uh, production always they will go for the two app servers more. So one is down, other will handle the load, right? So that is the purpose. They will go for the two app servers minimum in the production okay. environment. Yeah. So in system, we can see the loads like from where? Yeah, we have the work process. So we have the further transaction code to check the load, slow response times and everything based on that. So we can assume, okay, this application server unable to handle the load. Even though nothing we found it, only then the slowness. So which means, so we can we can create the one more application server so that that application server will take the some other load so that so it will handle the upcoming users load also it will handle it. So like that we can estimate it. So then we can provide it based upon the issues and the errors. So we can estimate it. Okay. Oh, we can see through SMLDT code. Right. 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 Oh. Just give me a minute. Huh?
<coughs> so here, uh, host agent, we already done the installation uh, during that. That one is not required. Just we can uncheck it out. If any new version comes, we can update it, but it's not required. So additional app server instances. So what is the instance number you are giving to this application server? So 0, 0 to 99 in between we can give any number. But here, so you have installed this many app servers. You have installed it. Each app server, there is a respective instance number. It's already allocated, right? So it's taken the 0, 07, which is the next available free instance number, right? Then click on the next button. Click on the next button here. Okay, so nothing asked here. Only what is the where you want to add in that profile? It is asked it here and w one, then passwords, then what is the new instance number, which new app server num AAS additional application server instance number, it will ask it. So then so nothing. Just click on the OK button. Now what will happen? So new app server will get thing installed now. So it is also very quick actually. So let's see why because nothing is doing right no database installations nothing just only new app server is getting created here so that's it so here what will happen nw1 right so the operating system level under the usr sap we have the nw1 system here we have the d00 right so there is a one more folder will come like d07 folder will come g 07 folder will come here so that will down now let's see installation so installation will take very longer time okay uninstallation this and all it won't take much time constructing the house will take longer time so but dismantling the house very quick right same as like Sir, is there any limit that number of uh, additional applications? Based, based upon our memory utilization, actually. You have less memory, then already system is slow. If you are going to add the one more app server, then it will be very speed, right? It, sorry, it will be very slow, right? So that mm -hmm. will create the noise, noise here. So that is the reason here. So meanwhile, meanwhile, yeah, that will create the noise. So you have 60% memory only, it is utilizing. So that's fine. So we have 40% is free. So we can install the one more application server. Like that we can assume it. Why? Because each application server, I think it will occupy the 4 GB. 4 GB or I think 2 GB, I think 2 GB. So then 2 GB means 2 GB free is there. Then we can install the one more application server. So that's it. So while this is getting installed,
No, this is the different settings. Just I can ignore it. Windows system thirty two drivers EPC host. This is the host file entries actually. To connect to from one server to another server, so we need this host entries actually. Okay, we need this host entries. So this one I'm copying from. So from other server to here, I'm copying here so that they can able to launch the the Linux. So some people, I think you guys are joining the morning batch, right? Linux. So HANA administration. So that so that will be helpful to connect now. So now it will works. Now it works now. So where we are? Oh, it started already. So here it's creating the D07 instance. So it folder, some files will be created actually. So what are those files and folders? We have the upcoming topics. So it will work. See here, one more instance got created. So ASCS yes, instance, primary application server D00 and D07. Each instance which is creating it uh, here, SAP level, the respective folders will be created at operating system level. Operating system level, it will create the respective folders here. So previously we deleted as part of the uninstallation. Now we are doing the one more application server installation we are doing here, right? So it is installing. This is the one of the step here. Then once this is done, then I've all completed. One more, the one more application server got will get installed here. Uh, sir, one more doubt. Right. Uh, as a SCS is only one for one system. Uh, uh, right. Is there any possibility or any case like a message server has been overloaded? Uh, that's why we will install the message server sometimes in the high availability mode, HA mode, HA mode. Which means, so why SCS, we will do the two host installation here. Which means now we installed in the SAP training one host. If we have the one more host training to what will happen if it is overloaded here, that will be relocated to the, that will be, so that will be moved to the another host, primary and secondary high availability concept. 
so critical mm -hmm. applications we will get uh, this one also it means cluster mode we will do the hey, this installation high availability mode during the installation time we have the standard installation distributed and high availability mode high availability mode means so installing the your ACS instance in the in the so oh. high availability mode means two host primary yes. and a secondary host if the primary host if something is happened it will automatically it will move to the secondary host uh, so this also depends upon the business if the larger uh, yeah, yeah yeah if the message server is what is the work of the message server will take the request from the users will transfer to the respective if the requests are very more n number of requests then sometimes this will get overloaded sometimes what happens so dispatcher is not taking so like message server so user to message server message server to dispatcher if the all the dispatchers are not taking the request means message server will get overloaded right so you have the manager the client manager manager after manager you are the employee you are working so you are client you are manager means dispatcher or so dispatcher so then the manager is not manager taking the request then your employees are not taking the request from the manager that means everything will be sit with the manager only so means manager will get overloaded right so this real time scenario so like client customer taking the manager responsibilities the taking the projects and mm. giving to the employees but here employees are not taking the mm. load work then manager will get overloaded right manager has to do the all the work then in this case what will happen manager get overloaded then so the resources will switch to the secondary node it will be go to the not responding status that will okay. happen some, sometimes yeah please. so any concept just if you relate to the our real times or day to day usage scenarios easily you can understand you no need to read any book or anything directly you can jump you can go to the interviews and you can you can through the interviews as well just if you want what you need to do any concept just you can relate to the your real time scenarios the dialogue process is responsible for taking the user request from the dispatcher okay dispatcher is like a dispatching the request if the dialogue is not taking the request then dispatcher will get overloaded if the dispatcher is down then dialogue process will not take any request dialogue will also go down so which means dispatcher is the main here dispatching the request taking the request maintaining in the order then handing then moving to the other one so okay dispatcher is the main like that so we have to assume it all those things so it will work like this only so now let's log in we already log into the here so now what will happen now sap nw1 we opened but if you go to the sm51 we can see only active application server only one is there now with the instance number 00 only one application server is there so when you install the one more application server so now i think it is uh, starting successfully installed now it is starting it will start it you will get the one more instance here just click on the refresh button almost done you will get the one more instance actually here So starting the service now okay so which means here you will get the one more app server if you just click this button one more app server will be located here starting
and w1 see here one more app server got installed here but this is down so this is not starting up due to so maybe space issues or memory issues it's not starting up let me try to restart manually oh. so windows systems uh, this is the one of the worst thing here systems it won't start immediately it's required the some uh, many things it's required space or uh, sometimes it will look the space issues virtual memory issues all those things it will look Dispatcher is not starting up due to the space issues. What we can do? I can clean up the some of the things here. Uh, clean up to clear to get the thing. Some clean up I can perform it. So we will get the some space. So don't delete like uh, already NW1. So you can delete the remaining one. But because we have we are we have stopped and we are doing the uninstallation. So we can do the some cleanup, all those things here. It's already empty. Folders are empty here. Now the pen dialog work process, I can decrease it to the three five. We can decrease it work process. We have the concept, don't worry. At that time, I will let you know. Now to start the system, I decreased it. So it's 99 percentage it got stopped it's not starting so what we can do now we can go to the here and w1 system so this is the server right try to restart one more time here to see try to restart Yes, now it is starting. You see, now we got the four. So what happened means work process are uh, maybe due to the space issues and memory issues, it's not starting up. So that's the reason. So once it is started, so then, so hundred yeah, percent it will be completed here. Hundred percent it will be completed here. So now see, here yeah, you will get the so two instances, two instances here. So one more is the 0, 7. Second one is the NW1, 0, 0. And the second one is the 0, 7. So which means it is starting mode here. It means new application server is getting added here. One more application server got created, added here. So it is starting mode now here. Right? So how to check the how many app servers are active? This is one of the interview question. So yesterday, one of the guy, uh, they, uh, they have asked this question. So in SM51, we can see the uh, 
the application server status here, active application server status, we can see it here in the SM51. So now it is active. So which means completely active here. So now if you want to check the individual SM50 local work process or you only, so this application server related work process, how many are there, we can see it. Otherwise go to the individual app servers. Then if you double click it, then and then that application server related work process status, we can see it here, how many are there. So individual you are checking one by one, but I want all the work process status in the one screen means, what is the transaction code? I want all the application server related, all the transaction codes in the one screen, one doesn't scroll here, right? So this is like SM66, you have to tell, right? So in SM66, you can see now, 0707070000 all the application servers related all the work process are in the one screen here one screen here right so one screen here that is the here the second one is the al08 all the application servers how many users are logged in you can see the users here here we have the total six two are in the in this application server remaining all are in the another application server here another app servers here right 0007 here so which means both are equally distributing the load both the servers are equally distributing the load here both are equally distributing the load okay this is the concept okay so tomorrow we'll discuss about the message server here now you see this is met may 100 percent completed yes execution of the service 100 percent is completed so new app server got installed successfully right so today we discussed about the uninstallation, adding the new app server, then the tap server is visible in here as well, right? Here as well. So, so that's the for today's class. And tomorrow we'll discuss about the message server. What is the work of the role, role of the message server, what it will perform, all the activities we'll see it here in the message server class here tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so that's it for today's guys. So uh, have a nice discussion. So thanks everyone. We'll talk. Thank you, Ray. So please practice it. Practice is the main important thing here. So you can uninstall all those things. So these three, or if you want to keep it one, you can keep it like P, you can do the remaining three, you can uninstall it. So, okay, that is the work you need to do it. So yeah. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll talk tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yeah.